The characteristic virtue of learning is that a question inevitably leads to an answer, while the answer only leads to another question, and this way the stream of knowledge flows on. It is the seeker's formula, and it suits me just fine, because I simply love coming back to the Rampur Raza library. The renowned French surgeon Dr. Robert Briefo famously wrote in his work The Making of Humanity. The debt of our science to that of the Arabs does not consist in startling discoveries or revolutionary theories. Science owes a great deal more to Arab culture. It owes its existence. And Arab culture owes its existence to Prophet Muhammad and the succeeding Imams. Peace be upon them. Imam Jafar al-Sadiq al-Salam is sixth in the order of the divinely commissioned heirs of the Prophet. Peace be upon him. He is the indispensable source of the scientific revolution. His contributions awarded the 8th century and the following millennia with the title The Golden Age of Islam. In the mid-20th century, the research committee of Strasbourg in France, while doing research on Shia faith and its leaders, studied the life of Imam Jafar Sadiq al -Islam. They compiled a thesis and it was called The Great Muslim Scientist Imam Jafar al -Sadiq. It is available in PDF format on my poetry website www.miranis.com in the books section. One can also do a little online research. The book, which is also known as the Super Brain in Islam, highlights the contributions of the Imam to modern society. It covers a multitude of subjects like the theory of elements, the rotation of the earth around its axis, theory of the origin of the universe, opacity and transparency of materials, living beings in other worlds, composition of the human body, discovery of hydrogen, time and space, matter and antimatter, light of stars, multitudinous worlds, the expanding and contracting universe, pollution of the environment, theory of germs and microscopic organisms, the theory of light on the basis of which Ibn al haytham or al hazen developed the first working camera and became the first scientist to project an image onto a screen in the early 11th century. Arabic then was the official language of science. Historians conveniently forgot to look beyond the 14th century when searching for the roots because that would mean that the scientific revolution was not European by nature. Imam Muhammad al-Baqir and Imam Jafar al-Sadiq al were the founders of the first grand Islamic university in Medina in the 8th century. And I'll speak, Imam Jafar al-Sadiq al taught more than 12,000 students from far and wide. Some of his most famous students are Jabir al Hayyan, famously known as Geber, the father of modern chemistry. Al Khwarizmi, the father of algebra. Around 825 AD, he wrote the book Hisab al Jabr wa al Muqabala, from which we derive the word algebra. Al Khwarizmi is known in Latin as algorithmi, and from his very name sprouts the term algorithm, because he is the inventor of the math of logarithm. And if it weren't for algorithms, you wouldn't be watching this documentary on your laptop, computers and fancy smartphones because electronic devices are based on this math. al farghani an astronomer better known as al farganis in the West. The lunar crater al farganis is named after him. Abu Hanifa, the head of the Hanafi school of thought, followed by 31% of the Muslims worldwide. Malik bin Anas, head of the Maliki school of thought, followed by 25% of the Muslims worldwide. Husniya, one of his female students, who challenged all the scholars of the Caliph's court to debate and defeated them hands down. Imam Jafar al-Sadiq al said, Whenever I inform you about something, you should ask me about the origin of it in the Quran. Today, I am going to share with you a rare and unique relic preserved in the Rampur Raza library. Among all the invaluable collections of the Nawabs of Rampur, the Quran handwritten by Imam Jafar al-Sadiq al is worthy of being not only a relic of divinity but an artifact of world heritage. Although every Quran handwritten by the holy Imams was in Kufic script, this one stands out as a calligraphic masterpiece owing to its being written in miniature Kufic script. The very first study of graphology or the study of handwriting finds its origins in the teachings of Imam Ali who said, the writing of man is the symbol of his intellect and the evidence of his merit. This calligraphic masterpiece of Imam Jafar al-Sadiq delivered in miniature Kufic script is a delight for graphologists. 
The perfection of the letters, words and lines, rows after rows, is the evidence of the perfection of the intellect of the Imam. The miniature nature of the words shows the ability of the Imam to perfectly deal with and handle units of nature that are too minute to be handled by ordinary human faculty. Another remarkable virtue of this Quran is that it is the first Quran ever scripted on paper. Quran Purata Library mein Quran Majid ko jo zakhire yahan maujood hain kalmi nuske hain usme se Imam Jafar alayhi salam se mansub jo Quran Majid hai wo bahut hi qeemti hai bahut ahem hai iski aap writing dekhenge to ye bhi khat e kufi mein hai aur isme bhi iraq nahi hai lekin ye khat e kufi jo hai wo khafi style mein hai aur iske ilawa is इस नुस्खे की खास बात यह है कि यह कागज़ पर लिखा हुआ है सबसे कदीम नुस्खा है आठवीं सदी में कागज़ का इस तरह का कुरान मजिद अब तक मेरी नाली में नहीं है मैं समझता हूं कि कुरान मजिद का ये वाद नुस्खा है दूसरा कोई नुस्खा इसके मुकाबले में अभी तक मेरी निगाह में नहीं आया है तो हज़रत इमाम जाफ़र अलीसलाम जिनको कहा जाता है कि उन्होंने कुरान की तफसीर भी लिखी है वो तफसीर तो नहीं अवेलेबल है लेकिन उन्होंने पूरा कुरान मजिद अपने हाथों से लिखा है उसका नाम उसका नमूना रामपुर रजराई में मौजूद है और यही इस लाइब्रेरी के की अहमियत के लिए काफ़ी है द फर्स्ट पेज ऑफ दिस कुरान हैज़ बिन एम्बॉस्ड इन प्योर गोल्ड बाई नवाब हामिद अली खां एंड पेज है एक्सपर्टीज ऑफ द रामपुर रजा लाइब्रेरी रामपुर रजा लाइब्रेरी दुनिया में जानी पहचानी जाती है दुनिया के तमाम इस्कालर इसकी अहमियत से बखूबी वाकिफ़ हैं रामपुर रजा लाइब्रेरी में मखतूतात के कलेक्शंस को देखने के लिए दूर दराज से बल्कि बैरूनी ममालिक से लोग आते हैं तशनगान इल्म अपनी तशनगी बुझाते हैं यहाँ मुख्तलफ़ ज़बानों के मखतूतात हैं मसल उर्दू फारसी अरबी तुर्की पश्तू संस्कृत और हिंदी के मखतूतात हैं ये मखतूतात मुख्तलफ मौजूद पर हावी हैं ये बात भी काबिल ज़िक्र है कि रमज़ानमबारक में कुरानियात से मुतल जो किताबें हैं ख़ास करके कुरान मजीद के मुख्तलफ़ कस्म के नुस्खे जिनकी एक वाफिर मकदार हमारी लाइब्रेरी में मौजूद है हम आवाम के लिए उसकी नुमाइश रखते हैं और वो नुमाइश आवाम में बहुत मकबूल है Imam Jafar Sadiq alayhi salam is among the pillars of the human civilization and the fact that history has overlooked a personality like him is a loss to mankind. Countries like India and Iran have been and still are the greatest minds of literature and heritage. So if you want to see a handwritten Quran by the father of the scientific revolution it is preserved in Asia's largest library of Islamic heritage the Rampur Raza Library right here in India. The holy prophet peace be upon him said I leave with you two weighty things if you stay with both you shall never go astray the quran and my progeny and they shall never be apart till they reach me at the fountain of course salams to all oh, oh, oh.